All right, guys, today I'm here with Marianne Cherico of Interiors by Marianne. Marianne's one of my favorite people in the world, but more, most importantly, Marianne uh, handles all of my sellers for me uh, as my interior stager. So Marianne, thanks for coming out today. It's always great to see you, Tony. So we have a lot of good stats for our sellers about the importance of staging, but I figured instead of me giving them, might as well have it from uh, the professional, the stager. So Marianne, yes. tell me about the importance of home staging in an ever-changing market. Well, home staging is important in any market, even a busy seller's market, because the idea is to squeak every amount of equity out of the house. I mean, doesn't everybody want to make the most amount of money for their house? So staging basically is marketing and packaging your home for sale, and it's often your biggest investment. So the statistics show that when you invest money in staging, the return on investment is great. And some of the statistics are from the National Association profile of home staging. And one of the statistics is that 82% of buyer's agents said that staging a home made it easier for buyers to visualize the home as their home. Now there's other statistics from seller's agents. And they are that 23% of seller's agents reported an increase of 1 to 5%. 18% reported an increase of 6 to 10%. 6% reported an increase of 11 to 15%. That's a lot of money. Yeah. And 3% reported an increase of 16 to 20%, and 2% reported an increase of 20%. Now, what does that mean to you? Exactly. You know, you hear these statistics, and how does that, how does that become a value for you as a seller? Well, let's put it in perspective. If we take a conservative 5% on a $500,000 house, which is really a starter house in this area, that's $25,000 more in your pocket as the seller. So double it if it's a million dollar home. So the value is, is that if you're paying, let's say five or 6% in commission and your agent like myself pays for your interior stager to come in and stage the property, and you do that small investment for the maximum return, that agent's value is surpassed, not only with the value that they brought to you in returns of your ROI on your investment, but also their value as, as an agent and their the cost of their commission. Absolutely, I, I tell my agents that, you know, it's really important that you educate the sellers that it's not what you pay in commission, it's what you net in profit. It's always about the bottom line. So agents like Tony who go the extra mile to hire a stager to come in and show you how to present your home, you know, we do a full consultation from curb appeal to every room in the house and then follow up with a detailed report. Agents like Tony that offer this are the agents that go the extra mile. Uh, for their clients. They go over and above. This is a huge value add. Your listings online look better. You're proud to put your house in the market. You're going to make more money in any market. And um, the agents that do this and get this are the, from my experience, from doing this from two, since 2005, are the top-notch agents. So I think there's a couple myths we have to debunk though. Staging isn't about getting rid of all of your furniture and renting furniture or buying new furniture for buyers to see on your photos, right? It's a lot more than that. It, it's, there's so much to, involved in staging and I have to kind of meet the sellers where they are. And so some ho homes need more than others. Um, every home is different. Yes, some more luxury homes especially will rent furniture and accessories. But I find that often I can get incredible, incredible results with a consult because, like I said, I've been doing this since 2005 and I really know what notes to hit. Sometimes it's paint. Sometimes, you know, paint is money in a can. It, sometimes it's just moving furniture around. Sometimes I'll recommend emptying the room because it's not showing well with the old dated furniture. Every house is different and needs to be treated different, differently, but the idea is how do we optimize the showing power so that we can maximize the equity. Exactly. So any other tips for sellers that are looking to stage their home? Well, if sellers are looking to stage their home, then some of the tips are obviously the obvious ones. You want to declutter. 
you want to get rid of things that are dated because it adds a perception of the house being dated. You want to make sure you grab them at hello with nice curb appeal. I mean, I've gone to multi-million dollar houses with a mailbox falling down, and that sets up a bad expectation of, you know, that buyers are thinking, what, what else do I need to look for? As I said, paint is money in a can. There's ways that you can neutralize the paint and give the whole home an updated feel. And the idea is, you know, when I go in, it's about return on investment. So what can we do for the least amount of investment for the most amount of return? Uh, decluttering, arranging the furniture so the pictures will look great online. There's different ways that I help you visualize that. And considering the demographic of the area, of your target buyer, a house that I stage in the farmlands of Rehoboth is going to be different than a city loft, which is going to be a little more, you know, maybe mid-century or transitional or contemporary. Or swanky so, with your style sometimes. Swanky. <laughs> <laughs> awesome. All right, Mayor. Well, thanks so much for your tips and your advice. And thanks so much for taking good care of my clients. Well, you're the best, Tony. Your clients are lucky to have you. I paid her to say that. Big money. <laughs>